welcome back to the Lab Preschool Online Experience. My name is Holly and I am so excited that you're here with us today. Guess what? Today is our very last week talking about the profits. All month long, we've been talking about different profits and some steps they teach us on how to grow in our relationship with Jesus. Now, prophets are people who share God's words with others. And we met some pretty cool prophets. Do you guys remember the steps that we learned this past month? There were three of them. Let's say them together. Step one, trust God. Step two, talk to God. Step three, listen to God. Oh, great job, my friends. Now there's something else I wonder if you remember. It's our memory verse for this month. Let's go see if we can say it together. Boys and girls, let's say our memory verse together. We are God's masterpiece. Ephesians 2.10. Let's say it one more time. We are God's masterpiece. Ephesians 2.10. Great job. Great job saying our verse together, my friends. Oh, you guys have such good memories. Now, since it's our very last week in this series, I decided to bake you guys something extra special. Ah, I'm so excited. It is a caramel crunch toffee cheesecake. I've never made one and I'm so excited, but right now it's cooling in the fridge and we have to wait a little bit. So while it's cooling, how about we go check out Callie's World together? Hey there, my fellow chefs. The last few weeks were so much fun. We learned how to make a fruit salad and how to make a cake for my mom. Today, we are going to be making these yummy cupcakes. Here are the directions to make them. Directions are the steps we need to follow. The directions seem pretty easy. We follow the steps and then we get scrum delicious cupcakes. All finished. My mom just helped me put the cupcakes in the oven to bake. Hmm, so I guess we just wait now. I wonder if I should go check to see if they're baking. Maybe I should look at the directions again. I know we followed the steps. <sighs> I don't really know what to do. What do you think? Just wait. Yeah, that sounds right. The instructions do promise cupcakes if I follow the steps. And I did follow the steps. So I guess that is it. Let's check out today's Bible story in the meantime. It's time for today's Bible story. It comes from Jeremiah chapter 33, verses 14 to 16. Do you remember our big idea so far for this series? Step one, trust God. Step two, talk to God. Step three, listen to God. Well, Jeremiah did all those things. He was another one of God's prophets. That means he followed those steps so well that he could tell the people what God was saying. And every word was true. But some of what he said was hard to believe. It just didn't make sense. For example, in today's story, Jeremiah reminded the people of a promise that God made a long time long time ago, so long that they weren't sure it would happen anymore. God chose one family, a whole family tree in fact, and promised that from that family tree would come a king, a king that would be greater than all kings in the world. It didn't seem like this family had the right ingredients for the king above all kings. But one person from that family tree stood out, and it was a guy named David. He loved God very, very much, and he was very brave. So brave that when David was a boy, he defeated a giant with nothing but a sling and a stone. Imagine that. David was pretty great, 
God told David that someone from his family would always be the king. And Jeremiah was saying the exact same thing again. And do you know who that king is? It's Jesus. The Bible says in Jeremiah 33 to wait and watch for Jesus to come. What does that mean? We can start by following all these steps. Step one, trust God. Step two, talk to God. Step three, listen to God. And maybe the hardest step of all, step four, leave the results to God. When we live for God, we don't always know exactly how things will turn out. The Bible is our guide. There are even promises in the Bible, but we have to do our part and follow the instructions. If we follow the instructions in the Bible and do what we need to, we will all become delicious cupcakes. I mean, um, uh, we can leave the results to God. <laughs> that is so exciting, friends. We can trust God, talk to God, and listen to God. But after all that, we can do step four. Leave the results to God. That's the big idea for today. Can you say that with me? Step, Step four. four. Leave the results to God. Thank you so much for learning and growing with me. We had so much fun, didn't we? Catch you next time. Peace out. Oh, no. Oh, hi, friends. I was just looking at my cheesecake that I made for you guys, and it did not turn out the way I wanted it to. Look at this. Oh, would you guys want to eat this? I don't think I would. Oh man, you know it's so nice when things turn out perfect just the way we want them to. But sometimes that doesn't happen. And you know what? I think that's actually okay. Because life's not perfect. And there's only one person who can always make things turn out exactly how they're supposed to. Do you guys know who that is? God! That's right! God has the big picture and He knows exactly how to make things go. We can trust His plan. And that's why step four is to leave the results to God. We can do everything we can, but at the end of the day, God is in control. And so we know that we can trust in God's plan. Just like how He knew to send Jesus for us. That was God's plan. Now God has some great plans for each of you guys and I can't wait to see what they are. But how about we take a time right now to pray and to thank God for his perfect plan. Can you fold your hands and close your eyes with me? Dear God, thank you so much that you have a great plan for each and every one of us. Thank you that we can leave the results to you and trust that you know what's best always. We love you so much. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, friends, we had so much fun with you this month talking about prophets and all about God's plan and the steps we can take to grow with Him. I hope you practice each of those steps this week. And I can't wait to see you back here next week for our brand new theme. I will see you guys then. Bye! Monsters in my room I tell that fear My God's bigger than you If a bully calls me names That wanna stick like glue I tell that name My God's bigger than you My God is bigger Stronger Faster There's nothing he can't do My God is bigger Stronger Faster My God Is bigger than you Lies that
told me from the truth I shout out loud My God's bigger than you If I'm tempted by my friends To do what I shouldn't do I stand my ground My God's bigger than you My God is bigger, stronger, faster There's nothing he can't do My God is bigger, stronger, faster My God than you My God is bigger, bigger, bigger Stronger, stronger, stronger Faster, faster, faster Nothing is impossible My God is bigger, bigger, bigger Stronger, stronger, stronger Faster, faster Faster. Nothing is impossible My God.